Hmm. Another Sebeza episode this week. Will it happen this time? Hey everyone, last week we got some Sebeza action, and not that kind, you dirty-minded youngling. This week we can look forward to more Sebeza teaming up, and this time will they finally express how they feel about each other, melting millions of hearts around the galaxy? Eh, who knows. But two Sebeza episodes in a row definitely seems like that moment is getting closer and closer and closer. For many out there, the moment where Sabine, the awesome Mandalorian artist slash hairstylist, and Ezra, the dark, light, gray, Jedi, and main character is highly awaited. This season seemed like it would be more adult themed, but so far has fell flat of that notion, although there's still some time left in the season for that to happen. Will it happen soon? Will it take Thrawn or Maul's toying with Ezra to make it happen? Eh, again, who knows? But. What we can talk about is how it's most likely going to happen and what this means for our heroes in the remainder of this season. So first off, how it's going to happen is a pretty easy speculation since movies and TV have this subject turn out pretty predictable every time. Most likely Sabine will be used by Thrawn or Maul. My guess is on Thrawn for now until they show exactly what place Maul has in the rest of the season. But Thrawn will most likely use Sabine as some type of trap for Ezra and after some daring Jedi rescue by said overconfident Padawan, they will realize their feelings for each other and yay, Sebezra fans all over will weep joyous tears and hug and take to their favorite social medias to use hashtags galore. Now, where this conversation gets interesting is how it will affect the Rebels universe. See, we have a well-oiled team who already puts each other before the mission, so if it comes down to it, saving Sabine if she's in danger will always be a priority for Ezra and vice versa. The difference comes with the attention to each other, especially on Ezra's part. Dating a team member will certainly take Ezra's attention away at times to make sure Sabine is okay, which could endanger missions or etc etc. Also, for critical moments where Sabine could be captured or in serious danger, Ezra will most likely forego everything and everyone else to save her. This is bad, obviously, because the mission still needs to be a priority, and the extra attention on Sabine could be the key difference between a failed mission and a successful one. Now, I keep focusing on Ezra getting distracted over Sabine and not the other way around for one simple reason. I don't see this becoming as big of an issue for Sabine. While Ezra believes in the rebel's cause, obviously, or he wouldn't be there, he seems to more often put his friends above the mission already for the most part. Whereas Sabine tends to put the mission first, waiting for the right time to rescue teammates and trusting in their natural abilities and skills to hold off or survive until she can come to the rescue. Even with the relationship, Sabine's personality would most likely keep on that aspect and not really worry too much about Ezra, seeing as though he's a very capable Jedi. So, unless he was truly in danger, I don't see this impacting Sabine as much as it would Ezra. Sebezra also could cause a push to the dark side for Ezra, which I think is the most likely explanation. We all know Sith like to use loved ones to turn Jedi, and this would be no different for Maul, who still seems to view Ezra as his future apprentice. Like I said earlier, it doesn't take Maul to do this. It could be anyone who pushes Ezra using Sabine, such as Thrawn. Uh, like like Vader with, with Luke, when he taunted Luke, Luke went over the edge for a brief time and defeated him. But now, will Sebezra be the cause of Sabine's death? For the most part, Season 3 brought out the people hoping for a darker Ezra and maybe even a darker side arc for him. What better way to push that arc? Killing the one person he truly loves? Yeah, that'll push that arc. But would they really give us Sebezra just to take him away again? Well, I mean, yeah, if they wanted to go that route, although that would be a way darker route than Rebels has gone, it would be some damn fine storytelling, though, and definitely an unexpected twist. That would be something barely expected from the Clone Wars, let alone a show that hasn't even gone as dark as that yet. But again, this would be such a great push for an Ezra Dark Side plotline, and a great unexpected finale for the season. I think so, anyway. Do I think that they would do that? Most likely, no. Just for the fact that it would be a huge jump in the feel of the show. Sabine is also a really loved character and sells a lot of toys. So, again, there's that aspect too. But, then again, that's the whole point I was making by it would be very unexpected. So, you never know. Who knows? You might lose Sabine. 
So, all of you Sabezer fans, just keep in mind the downsides that come with this relationship, and of course, even if Sabine survives, most likely you'll be saying goodbye to Ezra at some point, seeing as though in this new canon it seems like Luke is again the only surviving jedi for the most part and there's gonna have to be a really 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 good explanation as to why ezra and kanan who were part of the rebellion and also in contact with yoda weren't there from episodes four through six if that explanation isn't the obvious fact that they died then i'm gonna need a way better explanation for that well, Sebezer fans, I hope you're happy. You might cause Ezra to go to the dark side, or you might kill off your favorite character. But while you're over there, check out my other content here on the screen, and remember to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time.